YouTube, it's your boy Greg back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, we talk about fragrance related topics, so if there's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. All right, so previously I made a video that was my top pickups of 2021 designer edition. So this video is going to be the niche edition. All right, so niche fragrances are fragrances that are composed by companies that solely focus on fragrances. That's all that they do. So they spend a little bit more time. They have higher quality ingredients. You know, they are much more expensive, but at the end of the day, you're definitely usually when it comes to these fragrances, you want to get something that's a bit more unique, something that's a little bit more pronounced, something that's different, something that is just not going to be your basic everyday fragrance. Normally, that's not always the case, but usually that's what you're getting with a niche fragrance. So this video is going to be based on my top pickups of 2021 niche edition. Let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, so the first things we're going to talk about is from the house of Creed, and it's none other than Creed Viking. Now, like I said in another video, um, not all these fragrances were released in 2021. These are fragrances that I picked up, okay? So make sure you keep that in mind. But back to this fragrance. So this fragrance right here was a fragrance that I didn't enjoy at first, honestly. I think this came out in like 2017, and I really didn't enjoy it. It was a fragrance that just was too... Old Spice somewhat kind of like an older guy and back then I really wasn't feeling fragrances like that But this year man, I just went back to it and I just really really fell for it guys It's kind of what I would consider to be like, a, you know, it's a minty spicy fresh fragrance with a slight creaminess guys and it does have kind of like that, you know, old-school gentleman vibe, but that's okay because not every fragrance is going to be for the juvenile, right? This is something that you can definitely wear, you know, even with a white t-shirt and some nice jeans, but I would recommend wearing this when you're dressed up, kind of in the summertime, the, the warmer weather. This is definitely a fragrance that you could wear when it's, you know, warmer outside, but when you're dressed up, you know, a suit and tie or just a button down and some slacks, definitely suit you right in that type of situation. So again, from the House of Creed, Viking. All right, so the next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of Nishane, and it's Sultan Vetiver. Now, I've talked about this fragrance a few times in a few videos. It's a fragrance that I really, really enjoy. Why? Because it's based on vetiver, and vetiver is a, a note that I really, really enjoy, like, a lot. And I know a lot of people don't because it's very edgy, very earthy, very rough, you know, rugged, but for me, I love that, man. Like, this fragrance right here is a fragrance that when I say it's going to make a statement, it's definitely going to make a statement. It's very, very strong and it's very earthy, very dry. But the good thing about this vetiver right here is yes, it's strong, it's pungent, it's really, really rough around the edges. Once it starts to dry down, it does get somewhat of a sweetness, just a tad bit to kind of level everything out. So I'm telling you, if you're the guy who kind of wants something that's going to make you smell like a manly man and you want to smell different, this is definitely, definitely something that you want to pick up, guys. And Sultan Vetiver is not that expensive. I think you can pick this up for around, you know, in the 150s, 160s. So for a niche fragrance that has this potent power that it has, you really can't go wrong with it. So again, from the house of Nishane, Sultan Vetiver. All right, so the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is from the house of MFK, AKA Maison Francis Kirk John, and it's none other than Masculine Plurial. So I've talked about this fragrance a lot, a lot as well. And this one right here is, it's one of those fragrances that yes, it's a niche fragrance, but it's definitely one of the most easiest to wear niche fragrances. This fragrance right here is a fragrance that you probably would not consider to be niche quality as far as the uniqueness and the scent, right? But the quality is there as far as like the longevity, you know, as far as the quality of the ingredients, yes. That is definitely there, but it's very, very easy to wear. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, I can buy um, this designer fragrance that smells like this, but to me, I don't think so, because this fragrance right here is very mysterious in a way that I really, really enjoy. Why? Because it's simple, it's unique, but that lavender and that vetiver that's in this really combine very well. However, there's a sweetness 
right in the core of this fragrance that is not listed. There's nothing in the list that shows, you know, where that sweetness is coming from. So the combination of that vetiver and that lavender really, really just gives this fragrance its own uniqueness, in my opinion. Yes, it's not the most unique fragrance, but it's unique in its own way, and I really, really enjoy it. This is a signature scent worthy fragrance. It's a fragrance that you can wear all day, every day, dressed up, dressed down, and you're going to smell good. You're going to get compliments, and it's easy on the nose as well. You know, these fragrances are normally kind of strong and potent. Not always, but a lot of times they are. But this one right here is easy on the nose, so you're not going to offend anyone around you and you won't even choke yourself out. So if you're looking for something that's easy to wear and you just need a signature scent, go ahead and check out Masculine Pluriel from Maison Francis Kirk John. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is from the house of Parfums de Marley, and it's none other than Greenleaf. All right, so a lot of people were not a big fan of Greenleaf, and I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't at first, but man, oh man, I was wrong. This fragrance right here is just so mouth-watering, man. It's just very refreshing. You ever opened up like a fresh can of Sprite or 7-Up and you drink it on a hot day and it just kind of gives you that cooling, relaxing feeling, man, just so refreshing. That's what this does for me, guys. And I know people say that Parfum de Marley is like one of the niche houses that really doesn't have niche quality fragrances, but I, I disagree, I really do. I feel that fragrances that are made by Parfums de Marley are easy to wear, and it's something for everybody within their collection, you know? And that's the best route to go when you're talking business. You don't wanna make fragrances that nobody's gonna like, right? So I, honestly, the route that they take is actually a smart route. Besides all that, let's get back to this fragrance. So. Greenly is a green apple based fragrance, right? Now, I don't really like green apple type fragrances. I normally don't. They are starting to grow on me, but this one right here is probably by far my favorite when it comes to green apple. Why? Because it's a it's a creamy green apple, a sweet green apple, and it kind of has a little spiciness mixed in, not too much, but just a little bit, man. And it's just mixed with other citruses. It's just so nice, so refreshing, and I really, really enjoy that, man. I'm telling you, when you spray this on, you spray it in the air, man, it's just such a nice, refreshing feeling. I know I keep saying refreshing, but that's what I get with this fragrance. It's a fragrance that I feel is somewhat playful, but it can still be serious at the same time. You know, if you put on a white t-shirt and you're just out shopping, grocery shopping, or just shopping, you know, for clothes or whatever, out and about, this is definitely a fragrance that you can wear. I feel that it's something that can also be worn in the office. Um, I would definitely say don't go too heavy, test it out first. But this is a pretty safe scent. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit safe, kind of fruity, citrusy, and you like green apple, and you do like somewhat of a sweetness in your fragrances, but not too much, this will definitely suit you right. So if you haven't tried out Greenly from Parfums de Marley, please do. All right, so the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is a fragrance that, you know, when it first came out, a lot of people were disappointed. And I must be honest with you, I was too, but man oh man, it started to grow on me and grow and grow and grow. And the fragrance that I'm talking about is from the house of Initio and it's Musk Therapy. I mean, even the bottle is just gorgeous, man. This fragrance right here to me actually is a fragrance that has a name that actually suits its character, right? It's a very relaxing fragrance. I mean, when you first spray it on, yes, you're gonna get hit in the face with a lot of citruses. I'm talking about grapefruit, mandarin, orange, all of that, right? It is musky, right? But I'm telling you, as it starts to dry down, it starts to get kind of like a milky, creamy vibe, man. I'm telling you, so relaxing. Like I said in a previous video about this one that it just kind of reminded me that I was like in a milk bath with like you know, white florals kind of scattered around. I'm telling you, that's kind of what I'm feeling with this. May sound a little weird, but that's how relaxing this fragrance is to me. And it smells so good, so creamy. It's almost like they kind of threw in some milk notes and some vanilla and then mixed it with some nice citrus notes and then with some nice white florals. I'm telling you, man, this fragrance right here is just different. It's good, it's great, and the performance is amazing. 
The only downfall I'll say about this fragrance is it's very expensive. So this is one of the more expensive ones on the list. So I would recommend, you know, just going out there, getting a sample, a decent sized sample and just rocking it, man. And come back to this video and let me know what you think about this. All right, so the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is from the house of BDK and it's none other than Tobacco Rose. All right, so this fragrance right here is one of the more niche vibe type of fragrances in this entire list. Why? Because it's one of those strong, pungent fragrances. Like, you see what I'm doing? You see how I took off the top, right? And it's like right here, I can literally smell it as if I just sprayed it. It's that strong, like it's that strong, man, I'm telling you. So with this one right here, you're getting a tobacco rolls cacao combination. It's kind of like one of those very pungent tobacco rose type of fragrances, right? But the tobacco is not overpowering. The rose is not overpowering. And the chocolate is not overpowering, right? They mix so, so well. But I will tell you that this fragrance is a bit linear. So when you first spray it, you know, what you smell is what you're going to get. But the scent that you get is so amazing, man. I'm telling you, this right here is superstar status boss level type fragrance right here. I'm telling you, this right here is not even that expensive. It's kind of like in the mid to $200 range. And I know a lot of people say that ain't cheap, but look, we're talking about niche, right? And for a fragrance like this, you know, that tobacco, that rose, that chocolate combination that you're getting, the uniqueness, the boldness, the strongness, the pungentness that it has, you're getting what you pay for with this fragrance. I'm telling you, when you put on your shirt, it's gonna last probably a month, maybe a year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. but. It may just last a year if you put on your shirt and hang it up. It might still be there next year. I'm telling you, that's how strong this is, guys. So if you're looking for a fragrance that is definitely, definitely unique, different, and something that's going to turn head, steal the show, something that's going to last all day, all night, and it's really going to just give you that boss vibe, check out Tobacco Rose from the house of BDK. All right, so the next fragrance is actually from the same house, and it's one of those fragrances that I feel is very, very hard to explain, but I'm gonna do my best. And it's none other than Creme de Cure. So now, this fragrance right here is what I would consider to be one of those type of fragrances that is just kind of low key. Now, you ever met somebody that was kind of like tall, maybe big, just kind of has that strong presence, but when you talk to them, they're just kind of mellowed, relaxed, just very, very chill. You know, that's what I get with this fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that it can make a statement and it does make a statement, right? But it has this mellow vibe about it, right? It has vanilla, it has some citrus notes up top, but you're really not getting that heavy. Mainly for me, what I'm getting with this fragrance is just, you know, the white suede is definitely there. You can kind of pick up that, you know, that leathery vibe in the mix. It's not strong. It's nothing like Tuscan leather or ombre leather or anything like that. It's just in the mix. Like I said, remember, it's very mellow. Then I'm getting that vanilla. The vanilla is a star player in this fragrance, right? But it's not overpowering the fragrance, okay? And it does have somewhat of a spiciness kind of mixed in, it's not too strong. It puts me in such a nice, calm, mellow mood that, you know, that that most fragrances really can't put me in. You know, sometimes fragrances don't have that effect, but Creme de Cure just has that effect. I remember saying in one of my videos that, you know, it just reminds me of being out and about, driving with the top down at night, man, just playing some slow jams and just cruising, man. That's kind of what I get with this. The performance is great, you know, the longevity is great, and it's different. I've never smelled anything like this, honestly. So if you're looking for something that's unique, but very mellow, if you're that mellow type of guy, but you want something that is unique, something that's gonna last, but not be too strong, definitely, definitely check out Creme de Cure from the house of BDK. The next two fragrances are fragrances that were definitely not released in 2020, 2021, 2019, 2018, or any of that. But these are fragrances that I took some time to search out for because I was looking for a specific batch and a specific bottle size. And I'm sure by me saying that, you guys already know exactly what house I'm talking about. And it's from the House of Creed, and it's none other than Boys to Portugal. All right, so this fragrance right here is one of the most classic, classiest fragrances 
I own and have ever smelled, okay? This fragrance right here is sweet, it's spicy, and as it starts to dry down, it gets very, very vetiver heavy. That vetiver really does come off very, very strong whenever, you know, it starts to dry down. So if you're a guy or a girl, you know, if you like to wear men's fragrances that doesn't like vetiver, this is not gonna be for you. But for the guys that like vetiver, hey man, let's talk about it. This fragrance right here is, like I said, it's sweet, it does have that vetiver and it does have the spices in it, right? And it does have somewhat of a powderiness, but this fragrance right here is a fragrance that is very elegant, very sophisticated. It's a fragrance that is not that versatile, okay? So that's one of the issues that is, it's not that versatile. You definitely have to wear this when you're dressed up to a formal event. I mean, you don't really have to go to a formal event, but I, you know, maybe if you're going to a meeting or something like that, you can definitely pull this off but you have to go easy on the trigger because it's very, very strong. But if you're one of those guys that's got his stuff together, okay, and you know, you're a boss, or you want to feel like a boss, and you want something that is going to make itself known, it's going to turn heads, it's going to give you that strong presence to fit, you know, that, that boss mentality that you have, Creed's Boss to Portugal is going to be a fragrance that you definitely, definitely need to check out, okay? Now, this is one of those fragrances that is very, very expensive, so go out and test it out at Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's, get you a decant or something like that, and just rock it that way, okay? Don't go out and blind buy this. But again, from the House of Creed, Boys to Portugal. All right, so last but not least, also from the House of Creed, a fragrance that I said was my favorite fragrance in my entire collection. It's none other than Royal Oud. Man, oh man, this fragrance right here is just paradise, man. I'm telling you, this fragrance right here just exceeds boss level, man. I'm telling you, this is so elegant. It has a sweetness, it has that woodiness. The oud is not that pronounced. You know, when you think about oud, you're thinking about fragrance that kind of have that, you know, stinky, kind of rough, you know, scent vibe going on to it. But the oud in this one is very, very, somewhat it's kind of sweet it's kind of dry but not too dry and it's very very wearable it's one of the most wearable oods out there okay now this fragrance right here is a fragrance that i really really enjoyed because when i first dived into creed when i first was uh you know introduced to creed this was one of the first fragrances that i smelled and it was by accident and i just really really loved the smell and this is a fragrance that actually got me into my fragrance journey as far as looking at YouTube videos and starting my own channel and collecting. Why? Because when I smelled this, the uniqueness, the, the, the very sophisticated vibe that I was getting from this fragrance, it just really captivated me, man. And I, I just couldn't let it go. Like, it took me some time to get it because it's very expensive. But to me, it's worth it. So if you got the funds to go ahead and make a purchase like this, and you're the guy who, you know, maybe you are in a boss level position at work, right? Or maybe, you, you know, you own your own business or whether you are a younger guy or an older guy that just has your things together and you want something that's going to give you that mellow boss feeling. This is definitely going to do it for you, okay? It's woody, it's slightly sweet, but not too sweet. It does have a hint of powderiness mixed in it, but not too much. And it does have a spiciness going on, but it's a very soft, type of spiciness and if that's something that sounds you know interesting to you go ahead and check out royal food all right so that's going to wrap up this video i hope i didn't move too fast but i also hope i didn't keep you too long what i want you guys to do is go down in that comment section let me know which fragrance out of this entire line you really enjoy and also let me know your top niche pickup of 2021 if you like the video go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up and that's it take care peace